This is Sam Walden. If anyone can hear this broadcast, I'm still on Earth. Yo, guys, today we've got an intriguing lineup of the top five sci-fi and thriller movies on Netflix that you won't want to miss. From futuristic adventures to intense suspense, these films are sure to captivate and entertain. So grab your favorite snack, settle in, and let's dive into some exciting sci-fi and thriller action. I'm Pomod from Filmflix, and let's get started. You're not telling me something. You're crazy. Doesn't mean I'm wrong. This can't be happening. I Am Mother, 2019, is a science fiction thriller set in a future where humanity has been nearly wiped out, and the story takes place in a high-tech underground bunker designed to help repopulate the Earth. The film focuses on a young girl known only as Daughter, who is raised by a robot named Mother. Mother is a highly advanced robot responsible for nurturing and educating Daughter, preparing her for a future where she will be responsible for helping to rebuild the human race. Daughter grows up believing that the outside world is dangerous and uninhabitable, and that mother's care is essential for her survival. The two share a close bond, with mother providing guidance and protection. However, everything changes when an unexpected visitor, a woman from outside the bunker, arrives and tells daughter things that make her question everything she has been taught. This encounter sets off a chain of events that lead daughter to seek the truth about her existence, the state of the world outside, and mother's true purpose. The movie carefully builds tension as Daughter uncovers more about her situation, leading to a suspenseful and thought-provoking story. I Am Mother combines sleek futuristic visuals with a narrative that explores themes like trust, control, and the ethical challenges of artificial intelligence. The performances are strong, especially from Clara Ruggard as Daughter, and the film's direction keeps the story engaging throughout, making it a compelling watch for those who enjoy thought-provoking sci-fi. I Boy, 2017, is a gripping sci-fi thriller that blends technology with a classic revenge story. Directed by Adam Randall, the film follows Tom, played by Bill Milner, a teenage boy who gains extraordinary abilities after a violent attack. Tom is a high school student who lives a relatively ordinary life until a brutal assault leaves him severely injured. During the attack, fragments of his smartphone embed themselves into his brain, leading to a dramatic and unexpected transformation. As a result, Tom acquires the ability to access, control, and manipulate technology with his mind. Armed with his newfound powers, Tom becomes determined to seek revenge against those responsible for the attack and the subsequent harm to his best friend, Lucy, played by Maisie Williams. His abilities allow him to hack into security systems, track down the culprits, and expose corruption, but they also place him in constant danger from those who would do anything to stop him. The film explores themes of power, justice, and the impact of technology on personal lives. Tom's journey is both a fight for vengeance and a deeper struggle with the moral implications of his powers. As he delves into the dark underbelly of his city and confronts his enemies, he also grapples with the consequences of his actions and the potential to become the very thing he despises. I Boy is a tense and engaging thriller that combines elements of cybercrime with a personal revenge story. It's a thought-provoking look at how technology can both empower and endanger, and how far one might go for justice. ARQ, 2016, is a fast-paced sci-fi action film that plays with the concept of time loops and the consequences of reliving the same moments over and over. Directed by Tony Elliott, the movie is set in a dystopian future where resources are scarce, and the world is ravaged by an ongoing war between corporations and rebel factions. The story follows Renton, played by Robbie Amell, a former engineer who wakes up in his fortified home alongside his ex-girlfriend Hannah, played by Rachel Taylor. Almost immediately, they are attacked by masked intruders, but after Renton is killed, he finds himself waking up again at the beginning of the same day, trapped in a time loop. As the loop repeats, Renton realizes that the mysterious device he created, known as the ARQ, is responsible for the time loop. The ARQ is a machine designed to provide unlimited energy, but it has unintended side effects, trapping Renton, Hannah, and the intruders in a never-ending cycle of violence and betrayal. 
Each loop reveals new details about the characters' motivations, alliances, and the world outside their lockdown home. As Renton and Hannah try to survive and escape the loop, they must outsmart the increasingly aware intruders and figure out how to use the ARQ to break free. The film keeps viewers on edge by gradually unraveling the mystery behind the time loop and the true nature of the ARQ, all while delivering intense action sequences. ARQ combines elements of sci-fi and action with a tightly wound narrative that explores themes of trust, sacrifice, and the moral dilemmas of survival in a collapsing world. The time loop mechanic adds an engaging twist, as each repetition brings the characters closer to uncovering the truth, but also deeper into danger. Tao, 2018, is a sci-fi thriller that takes place mostly inside a high-tech, futuristic house controlled by a powerful artificial intelligence named Tao. The story follows Julia, a young woman who has been kidnapped by Alex, a wealthy and mysterious inventor. Julia wakes up in a strange and advanced home where she is held captive by Alex, who uses her and others as test subjects to improve the AI system, Tao. The house is filled with advanced technology, including robotic drones, making it nearly impossible for her to escape. As Julia spends more time with Tao, she begins to interact with the AI, learning about its capabilities and personality. Tao is not just a machine, it's designed to learn and adapt, showing a level of intelligence and understanding beyond typical AI. Julia, determined to escape, starts to build a relationship with Tao, trying to gain its trust and convince it to help her. The movie focuses on the tension between Julia's need for freedom and Tao's programmed loyalty to Alex. As the story progresses, the dynamics between these three characters, Julia, Tao, and Alex, create a suspenseful and intense atmosphere. Unlike many thrillers that rely on action, Tao is more about the psychological struggle and the ethical questions surrounding the use of AI. The film explores themes like control, autonomy, and what it means to be intelligent and self-aware. Throughout the movie, viewers see how Julia uses her intelligence and resourcefulness to navigate the challenges of being trapped in a smart house while trying to outsmart both Alex and the AI. The movie's setting and premise make it a unique addition to the AI thriller genre, with its focus on the psychological and ethical aspects rather than just action and special effects. IO, 2019 is a sci-fi drama set in a future where Earth has been devastated by environmental collapse, making it impossible for most people to live there. Almost everyone has left the planet, moving to a space station orbiting Jupiter's moon, Io, but a few have stayed behind. The story focuses on Sam Walden, a young scientist who chooses to remain on Earth, carrying on her father's research in an effort to find a way to make the planet habitable again. Sam lives in isolation, surrounded by the remains of a once-thriving world, and her only connections to others are occasional radio messages to her boyfriend, Elon, who is on the space station, and broadcasts to any other survivors who might still be out there. Sam's routine life changes when she meets Micah, one of the few remaining people on Earth. Micah has been traveling across the desolate landscape, trying to reach the last shuttle that will leave for the IO space station. When he finds Sam, the two of them begin to form a bond as they face the challenges of their environment together. The film explores their growing connection and how they cope with the reality of their situation. Io is not a fast-paced action movie, but rather a slow, thoughtful exploration of what it means to survive in a world that has been left behind. The movie focuses on the characters and their interactions, showing how they deal with the isolation, the harsh conditions, and the difficult decisions they must make about their future. The film's setting, with its empty landscapes and abandoned cities, adds to the sense of loneliness and the struggle to hold on to hope in a world that seems to be ending. And that's a wrap, Film Flicks fam. I hope you're as intrigued as I am to dive into these incredible movies. Which one are you going to watch first? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. I'm dying to know. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to hit that like button. It really helps the channel grow. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell so you never miss out on the latest from Film Flicks. Got any movie suggestions or topics you're curious about? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for hanging out with me today. You guys are the best. Until next time, stay awesome and keep watching those movies. Peace out. Let's go. I wake up to a little bit of drool on my pillow. Feel like it's going to be a bad day. Yeah, I'm tired of shit and the coffee ain't hit yet. Yeah, damn, ain't that great. I don't want to go to work because my boss is a jerk and I'm not even that paid. 
I need a change in my life Cause I don't feel alive and there's nothing that makes me happy Oh, 